Notification overload is a very real thing, whether that's in your email inbox or in your Asana inbox. So if you find yourself getting overwhelmed by the amount of Asana notifications that are coming through, there's a couple of settings that we can take a look at. The first place we can check is in your default global settings for your project notifications. That is gonna be up here at the top right if you click on your profile picture. And if you haven't uploaded a profile picture, I am going to take the time right now to encourage you to do so. It is always much better to be collaborating with pictures of your coworkers rather than their initials. Then you're gonna click on settings. And if you haven't done your photo, you can hit upload new photo right here. And then you're gonna click on notifications. And we're gonna go down to this area that says project notifications. So let's open that up. As you can see, you have a couple of different default settings for your projects. Um, so the last one is what I'm always gonna recommend that you toggle off, tasks added. So what this means, if it's turned on, is that when you are a member of a project, you are going to receive a notification every time someone adds a task to the project. So I would say generally that's not a notification that you want by default. There may be some projects if you are really managing that process and you do wanna know every time a new task is added, then maybe you want that on for a particular project. But as a default setting, I would recommend turning this off. That is gonna help with some of those um, notifications that are coming through. Once you've toggled that off, you do need to check your individual projects. So we're gonna click manage individual projects because by turning that off, it doesn't go back and turn it off for every individual project. That's gonna be your default setting moving forward. So when you click on manage individual projects, it's actually gonna give you a list of every project that you're a member of and you can scroll through and you can either turn on or turn off that notification. So you might already have access to a bunch of projects here that you need to turn this off for. So if I keep scrolling, we can see I have this turned on for a select few projects that I specifically want that notification to come through my inbox for. So once you're done managing those individual projects, we can close that dialog box. And I wanna look down a little bit further and look at email notifications second. So you might be getting a ton of email notifications and that might be driving you crazy. And the last thing I wanna do is to prevent you from wanting to come into Asana. And if you are having notification overload in Asana and your email, it's probably gonna drive you crazy. So I would recommend turning that to none, just right off the bat. Not all activity, not even mentions, straight up to none. If you need to build the habit to remember to go into Asana, maybe you could turn on your daily summaries. That's one where I could say, okay, that's one email a day. It's gonna give you a brief overview of a couple of notifications. And if you haven't gone into Asana yet, that can be your reminder to do so. That's everything I wanna talk about here in notifications. So we are gonna close out our settings. The next thing we're gonna talk about is actually being a collaborator on tasks. So you may be a collaborator on tasks that you really don't need to be following. So if we go into one of our projects and let's take a look at this Sydney project and I'm going to show collaborators. And if we go through, we can see that um, the account that I'm looking at is Michelle Weeks. So we can see that I'm a collaborator on almost every single task. There's a couple I'm not a collaborator on, but I'm a collaborator on a lot of these. I can see my profile picture showing up on these tasks. So I'm gonna be getting a notification every single time there is a comment on that task, if the task is marked complete, if a file is attached. And so that might be pushing through notifications that you just don't need. So in your inbox, when you get a notification that we were just talking about on a task and you realize, you know what, this is conversation I don't really need to be a part of right now, you can actually just remove yourself as a collaborator. That way you're not gonna continue to get those notifications about that task. So that's really important to understand. You do not need to be a collaborator on every single task in a project. You only need to be a collaborator on tasks you want notifications for. So if I go back into this field marketing Sydney project, I just removed myself from, check that the amount of the first wage is correct. That was in this project. I can still go into this project and I can see that task. So I did not remove myself from having access or visibility to the task. I just removed myself from getting notifications, which is what we want. So that is just some ongoing cleanup that you can be doing from your inbox. If you notice that you're getting a bunch of these um, notifications, 
remove yourself as a collaborator. If someone wants to bring you back into the discussion, they can tag you, they can add you as a collaborator, get your feedback, and then you can remove again later. And that's really my fourth point, is it is an ongoing maintenance type of thing to be assessing your notifications. And if you see that you're getting notifications that you don't really need to be getting so much, such as being a collaborator on something, or maybe you're getting um, status updates on projects that you aren't really following, you can remove yourself from getting those notifications. So it is an ongoing maintenance maintenance and a mindset to be checking these notifications if they're starting to drive you crazy. Next, something else that can be missed is that projects that have custom fields, these custom fields, if we select edit field, they can actually have this setting that says notify collaborators when this field's value is changed. So if this is turned on, that means that as a collaborator to the task, I'm going to receive a notification if the value changes from marketing to any of these other selections. If it's changed to any service, if it's changed to sales, if it's changed to customer success. So some people turn that on um, maybe accidentally. Um, and so that's something, this can be super powerful, um, but you should use it very strategically and intentionally um, to make sure it's something that's not gonna push through a ton of notifications to your users. If that's something that changes a lot or if you have 500 tasks in a project and so every time one of those tasks change it's just sending so many notifications it's going to drive people crazy if you are feeling overwhelmed by notifications just imagine how some of your team might be feeling so only use this setting when you really need it so i'm going to toggle that back off because i don't want to send a bunch of notifications to my team so i just briefly touched on status updates um, when i was talking about ongoing maintenance so if you are getting a status update about a project that you don't really need to be following um, that was back in our settings area under our notifications and our project notifications. That's this status updates. So as a default, you probably do want this turned on because you're only going to receive that notification if it's a feature that your team is utilizing. And I would say by default, you do want to receive that notification. However, if there's a particular project that there's a lot of status updates getting posted and you don't really need to know about every single one of them, that's where we can manage that individual project. We're going to hit that blue share button or click on the icons of the users that are members and you can click manage notifications. And for this particular project, we can say, I don't want the update, the status update notification in my inbox. And so you can turn that off from that project. Next, I wanna talk about templates. So just like we were talking about being a collaborator on too many tasks, something that can happen is that when someone is setting up a template, they don't realize that there are collaborators in the template. So if we, let's say we have a problem with this um, particular template, I'm gonna hit edit, and I'm going to open up this task. And unfortunately you do have to, currently as of July, 2024, you do have to open up these tasks individually to see your collaborators. I can see that there's already a collaborator here. Um, my coworker, Julie, she's a collaborator on this task. But you might wanna go through and see, okay, Julie's a collaborator on this task as well. She's a collaborator on this task. She's a collaborator on this task. So if I continue this, you'll see she's a collaborator on almost every task. That may not be very helpful. She might not need to be a collaborator on every single task. What this means is that when I create a project from this template, she's also going to get, you know, however many tasks are in here, 100 notifications, which is crazy. That's gonna drive someone crazy. So you wanna make sure at your template level that you don't accidentally have a bunch of collaborators here because that's gonna push out a bunch of notifications at the creation of that project and of course ongoing throughout the project if they don't remove themselves. So I would say do a cleanup of your templates to make sure you don't have some hidden collaborators that don't need to be there. And so lastly, my last point really has to do um, with your company, with your team. How do you guys wanna be working together? It is really a group discussion to decide when you want to be a collaborator on something, when you want to get certain notifications, how you're going to be communicating together. So if you find that someone is not responding to you within Asana or you posted a status update but they didn't get it because they turned it off, 
That can also really be about the company decision about how you want to be collaborating together and communicating together within Asana. So it is a discussion for you guys to sit down and make those guidelines and make those understandings so that you are still working cohesively as a team and you're not missing important notifications. So with all that said, just a couple of recap points, um, things you cannot change about notifications. You can't change notifications if you are assigned the task. You're always going to get those. You can't change notifications when you're a collaborator, so that's why you would remove yourself. And you also can't remove notifications when someone initially shares a project or a portfolio or a goal with you, or first adds you as a collaborator or assigns you that task. You're always going to get that initial notification, and that is a notification that you want. You want to know that you've been given access to something new in the space. So really it is about a mindset. Be intentional about making yourself a collaborator, making someone else a collaborator, or removing yourself from um, being a collaborator or some of those other default settings that might be causing some notifications. So really your best practices that I wanna leave you with is to start your day by reading your inbox. If you let several days pile up of not going through those Asana notifications, of course that's going to be overwhelming and you're just not gonna to wanna to do it and you're gonna archive everything or archive nothing and you're just always gonna feel like you don't know what's going on with your team's work and questions they might be asking you. So start your day by reading your inbox, spend that five minutes in the morning. If you really have a lot, it might take 10 minutes, but if you make this a daily habit, you do it twice a day, it really will not take more than about five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, whether you do that at lunch or at the end of your day, just do it a second time in that day and that will really help keep you up to date on those important notifications, whether it's changes, comments, questions, things completed or assigned to you. And this will help you um, not feel like you're being constantly inundated with unimportant notifications, but rather make you feel like you're up to date with important um, information. And as I said at the very end, this is really about also internal policies. So each organization or team should decide when to tag someone, when to add them as a collaborator, and why. So if you find that your coworkers are never responding to your comments, it might be worth having an internal discussion to figure out how people are using their inbox or that common feature, um, I'm sorry, that comment feature, to make sure that you're all on the same page and avoid some miscommunication and missed expectations. But overall, I hope that helps you. I hope you don't run away from Asana, and I do hope that you check that Asana inbox at least twice a day to make sure you're up to date with your team.